I really can't believe they sent this to my door. This, I'm trying not to curse. This looks like it's gone through the trenches and I ain't had that damn, damn uh, memory in this jacket. You ain't mean to send this one to me. I know you ain't. Nah. <laughs> they ain't got the nerve to have O on the back. As in, oh, I'm about to send your ass back real quick. No, you ain't about, no, 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 no. What's up, my loves? It is me, your girl, Tyler Monroe, back with another episode. Y'all, this time around, I'm feeling some type of way. Like I'm, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I'm trying to get my feelings and emotions together, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel some type of way. So basically our girl, Miss Courtney Kardashian Barker, if you will. I don't know about y'all. I really don't care about what people say about her. That girl's style is okay. Like, especially now that she's married, I feel like her style has been top notch and super sexy, super edgy. And I just love it. I love her. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Play with your mama. But what I do care about is spending my hard earned coins, hard earned coins. Let me slow down on fashion pieces and receiving them and they're not what you expected. Now I do have some good news but I also have some bad news, okay? But either way it goes, all of this has to do with Courtney's most recent collaboration with Boohoo. I always go for Boho. I don't know why I said that. But with her most latest collaboration with Boohoo. And y'all, I love Boohoo. They haven't done me wrong at all. Like, I can't even think of anything that I've ever received from them that I didn't absolutely love. But baby, <laughs> this time, they tried to play me okay so without further ado let's get into it okay so for the first item that i got um i received the courtney kardashian barker high sheen pins in a size two now the thing about these pins are that when they said shine they were not playing y'all look at these pins like <laughs> look how shiny these pants are which is really cool i feel like if you're ordering red pants anyway even if they're leather like you want that type of attention and i'm fine with that the only issue that i have with these pants were that they are super duper thin and they make noise like when i walk and that's not cute because how I'm gonna run up on you and you know I'm coming. That's not cute, that's not, you know what I'm saying? But like I was saying, um, but no, these pins are, they're really nice. Um, at the bottom, as you can see, they are split hem, which that is trending right now. I feel like a split hem has been trending for the past several months now, if I'm not mistaken. I only own one pair of split hem jeans, but anyway, so they are split hem um super shiny but the material is just i can't really describe it it's just super duper thin like i wasn't expecting for them to be that thin um but for what it's worth the fit is okay um as y'all know i'm not that thick i only have like two percent duke so <laughs> It smashed that little bit in and now I'm at a 1%, but it's cool though. I picture myself wearing these in the future with graphic tee to go with these and I just think they would be together. Um, other than that, um, they do have like this red button on the front. It's, I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, I always worry when it comes to clothing that are kind of cheap i don't think these were hold on let me double check i don't want to lie to y'all oh okay so these pants were 40 dollars apparently and for 40 dollars y'all i mean i feel like that's not a lot of money but for 40 dollars i do feel like the material could have been 
a bit thicker, especially since they did release this collaboration during the fall slash winter season that we're about to hit. I feel like they should have just taken that into accountability because girl, my kneecap's gonna be cold. Okay, and I don't know about you, but that's not hot. <laughs> so, but besides that, um, I do really, really like these pants. Um, I do think that they do scream edgy. Y'all know I love a good edgy look. And um, there's not much else to say. I just wish that they were a bit thicker and that they didn't squeak as much when I moved around. And um, yeah, that's about it. On to the next item. Okay, so for my second item that I ordered, I got the oversized hoodie in a size small in black because y'all know black goes with everything. <sighs> so about this hoodie, I was really trying to go for that Ariana Grande vibe, um, but I don't know. It's just something about this hoodie. First of all, I do want to say on a good note, that this hoodie is super thick i love the quality of it um it's stretchy even though it shouldn't really mm, i don't know if that really matters it is oversized so like you can easily fit it over your head um there's really not much else to say about it i love the the material like i said it's a size small like i said before the only bad thing about it is it did not give me the look that I needed or the look that I was going for only because I feel like Courtney is a very small girl. Well, woman, I feel like she's petite, I'm petite. That's an another reason that really drew me to going towards ordering pieces from her collection and when i got this hoodie that wasn't the case like this hoodie literally swallowed me up girl like it was not giving the look that i was going for at all um i actually thought about returning it but it turns out my boyfriend can wear it so that was a plus so i'll be keeping this but i really this video is gonna be like super short. I really don't have anything else to say. It's an oversized hoodie, it's black, um, and it's just too big for me. I just really hope that her pieces could fit women of my size a bit better, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, maybe you guys may see me try to style this like as it gets a little bit colder um, with the incoming season, um, but yeah i my heart is kind of broken y'all because i really wanted this to work like i love the way that that woman dressed and this just wasn't given or maybe maybe it's me i should probably just try to play around with the look and try to pair it with like maybe a nice pair of like platform boots or <sighs> i don't know y'all i'm just I don't think I've ever been this sad doing a haul before. Y'all know I love me some clothes. Like, why did you know what? <laughs> Get it together for the camera, girl. Next item for my third and final item. I got the vintage leather moto jacket. It was $80. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all that the hoodie that i just reviewed was actually i want to say was 25 let me double check yeah so that hoodie was 25 dollars. you can't beat that like i said it's a really nice hoodie it was just too big for me but on to this jacket y'all i just want to say the reason that i ordered any of these things besides my love for courtney's fashion sense was this jacket that I saw on the model on the site she was given it was edgy it was chic it was beautiful and I fell for it I fell for the trap I was definitely manipulative okay because this but maybe it was my... I need to stop like trying to give everybody benefit of the doubt because I was gonna say maybe it was my fault because 
I hurried up and I ordered this item before it sold out because I just knew it was gonna sell out y'all like the jacket was beautiful and a real leather jacket for $80 girl where are you gonna find that at like no <laughs> so I went ahead scooped it up before it sold out it ended up being sold out I was super happy that I got it before it sold out and I was just waiting for it to just arrive at my door and when I got it it was nothing like what I thought it would be I don't even okay first of all let me tell y'all I opened the package and the scent coming off this thing hit my nose so damn hard it is so strong it smells like mothy it's gross I don't even like touching it I'm definitely gonna wash my hands after this but anyway I know y'all like girl hurry up show me the jacket y'all look at this look look at this jacket okay now i will say when i ordered the jacket um i didn't read i didn't read the the fine print below it because when i finally did it said that they were like pre-loved or pre-owned or something like that then i later on did my research and found out that they came from this thrift store in the uk gotcha bitch which I understand that this whole collaboration was supposed to make sure that, you know, it was supposed to fall under the guidelines of like making sure that the line was sustainable because, you know, that's how Courtney gets down. And I totally understand that. And I think that's awesome. But this, mm, okay, I'm gonna talk about the jacket and then I'm gonna tell you, look, okay, look, it's just so much going on y'all. Okay, so first of all, the jacket, smells like I said then on top of that like y'all it's I'm sorry it's just so many like they tried to patch it up I don't know if y'all can see that can y'all see that I'm trying to I really want y'all to see what I'm seeing it's like they tried to patch the jacket up and look at this look how crusty and moldy that is like look at that look how dirty that is gross gross and then along the sleeves y'all i kid y'all not it looks like mold y'all can't really see that y'all do y'all see these spots right here brown and white looking mold or toothpaste stains then i really tried to like this jacket y'all but it's it's no Imagine getting dressed, <laughs> taking your sweet time, putting on the finest perfumes, lotions, just beat for the gods. And you throw this on and this is rubbing against the back of your neck. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> he not going home with you. He's not. <laughs> no, he's not. You better not take this jacket off in front of him. Okay. He not going home with you, sis. Look at this. Can y'all imagine? Look at all this this dirt. Come on. And I'm so scared to unzip this. I haven't unzipped this, but y'all, just I don't even think I need to. Look at oh, stains and mold, mildew all in here. The buttons are the buttons are even crusty. Like I'm really trying to show y'all. I was so sad. Like, look at this crusty button. I really want y'all to like get a good look. <sighs> I don't think y'all can see it, but this button, well, zipper and these buttons are so crusty. This belt, it just keeps getting worse. When I tell y'all I almost cried, I almost cried. <laughs> Big me, <laughs> I almost cried over this jacket but i have been waiting so freaking long look at how rusty and dusty this is now i just want to say for what it's worth like i said before i didn't know that you know they have been pre-loved and then when i found out that they were i was like all right cool well at the worst i'll just go have a dry clean you know like it may have a little smell to it or something like that. No big deal. I'll just take it to go have it dry clean, blah, blah, blah. 
But what am I supposed to do with this? What? Oh, and I ain't even show y'all the back part yet. You out looking cute with this on the back. What is this? What? What is this? What is this? Look at, oh, look at all this, y'all. That's mold and mildew. It's disgusting. I would never put this on my body. I wouldn't even, even the tag has, I really wish y'all could see this. See this, even the tag has like smudges of, it looks like food on the tag. It's just completely disgusting. It smells so bad. And I just really hate that somebody somewhere actually took this from whatever pile of stuff that they had and put her name in it. Like, I can only imagine the other jackets that were received. Now, granted, I did see a few, I ain't even gonna cap, I did see one girl on TikTok and her jacket was absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, yes, it's vintage, I get that, but gorgeous. And it looked like, okay, $80 worth of, you know, vibes. But I also saw another girl on TikTok and she received hers with mold as well. And I just feel like my heart breaks because in a way I can only imagine if I was someone like Courtney and I was running, like put my name on the line to do something like this. And there's people on the back end that are taking stuff that literally is so crusty and dusty and looks like this dirty and putting my name on it while I'm off somewhere just like chilling thinking that everything is sweet like come on that like no no and I really feel like if <laughs> if y'all don't have anybody working for y'all um boohoo that can just pick up stuff like this and just be like hmm is this worth $80 would I wear this is this would I wear this is this worth sending off if y'all don't have that person I please sign me up because I would do that for y'all because there is no way that something like this something this this crusty dusty and dirty should have ever ever been approved to be sent out like Y'all smell so bad. It's literally, I'm gonna take a shower after this because it's gross and it's peeling in the back. It's just all bad. It's, it's all bad, y'all. And it was just a big disappointment. You know what? No, let me know if I'm just tripping. Would y'all have kept that and just took it to a dry cleaner? Could y'all rock with that? Like, let me know. I wanna know all of that, you know? Check me if I'm wrong. But like I said, love you guys. Until next time, it's been nice. It's your girl, Tyler Monroe, and we out.